What if I told you a tiny needle, smaller than your thumbnail, was racing toward Earth at almost the speed of light? Sounds impossible, right? Good. Hold on, because the answer is wilder than you think. What if I told you a tiny needle, smaller than your thumbnail, was racing toward Earth at almost the speed of light? Sounds impossible, right? Good. Hold on, because the answer is wilder than you think. First, quick reality check. Under real physics, a solid object can't actually reach the speed of light. But imagination doesn't obey the rules, and that's where the fun begins. Let's pretend it's either a microscopic speck moving crazy close to light speed, or a razor-thin beam of pure light, a supercharged photon needle aimed straight at us. Picture this. One instant the sky is normal. The next, a pinprick of white-hot fire streaks through the atmosphere so fast it's basically a blur. What happens next is not a slow poke hole. It's an apocalypse in a blink. Impact is instant theater. The needle smashes into air or ground and all its energy, literally tons of energy packed into a microscopic point, explodes outward. We're not talking sparks. We're talking a blinding flash, temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun, and air turned into blazing plasma. X-rays and gamma rays scream out like a cosmic flare. Then the planet punches back. A shockwave tears through the ground and air. A supersonic roar that rips buildings, cracks the earth, and sends seismic tremors. If the energy is big enough, expect a crater. Shock-heated debris thrown sky high, and a momentary twilight as dust and vapor choke the sunlight. But here's the twist. If the needle is actually light, a concentrated photon bullet, the damage looks different. Instead of digging a crater, it fries the atmosphere. The sky becomes a glowing column of ionized air. Radios go dead, electronics fry, and a massive electromagnetic pulse can black out whole regions. Imagine a sci-fi lightning bolt that scrubs satellites out of orbit and turns the night into a deadly aurora. Could this little thing turn Earth into cosmic confetti? No. Not unless the needle carried absurd, planet-shredding energy. Making a black hole or tearing Earth apart would need energy so massive it's basically impossible with our thought experiment. But that doesn't mean local devastation is impossible. Tiny mass plus near light speed. Energy that behaves more like radiation than a thrown rock. The result? Concentrated, explosive destruction and a scary slice of global fallout if the numbers are huge. Now the creepy part, nature already gives us hints. Cosmic rays, tiny particles from space moving near light speed, slam into our atmosphere all the time and create tiny fireworks. Scale that up, you get the scenario we just described. Micro becomes mega when speed skyrockets. So what's the bottom line? A needle at light speed doesn't poke Earth. It detonates, it vaporizes, it pulses radiation, it launches shockwaves, and it can ruin electronics and weather over massive areas. It's dramatic, it's violent, and it's a brilliant reminder. At relativistic speeds, size stops being the story. Energy is the boss. Liked that rush? Smash that like button, subscribe for more insane thought experiments, and drop the wildest what if you've got. I'll pick the weirdest and turn it into the next cinematic science breakdown.